Hello, my name is Vanessa and I have a confession to make. I am an ex-Spanish teacher who used to describe Dia de Muertos as the Mexican version of Halloween. And I was so, so very wrong. So today I'm here to amend for my sins and explain to you the real difference between Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead and Halloween. The first difference is the dates. Halloween is on October 31st. It is a one-day thing that exists pretty much at dusk when little kids go out and go trick-or-treating. However, Dia de Muertos, Day of the Dead, is from October 31st up until November 2nd, so it's a three-day festivity. The second difference is the decorations. Halloween decorations are focused mainly on the dark and sinister side of death. In my opinion, they're kind of scary. On the other hand, Day of the Dead decorations are more bright and cheery and lively. As you can see in the picture, she's, she has flowers on her head. She has um, painting on her face. Her dress is very pretty and formal because they're focused on a different aspect. They're focused on a different thing, which leads us to the third difference, the traditions. So as I mentioned, Halloween traditions are basically little kids sometimes adults, sometimes teens, dress up in costumes of things that maybe they admire, something they think is funny, something that's just entertaining, and they go out and knock on doors and say trick-or-treat and someone gives them candy. And the whole idea is basically to dress up as something, have fun, and get a sugar high when you go home and eat all your candy. Day of the Dead is about honoring the lives of those who have passed away. So during Day of the Dead, people go to the gravesite of loved ones that have passed away. They clean up the tombstones and they leave candles and brightly colored flowers to lead the souls back home because their belief is that during these two days, the souls are able to come back and spend time with their family members. So on the evening of the 31st at midnight, that is when the souls of small children come back. And then on the evening of the first, that is when the souls of adults come back. And so they leave things on the tombstone that the, these people loved in life. And then also at home, they make altars with their pictures and leave other things that, that were um, important to these people in life just to celebrate the person and their memory and take time reminiscing and feeling the presence of that person. So the idea is, is not fear or being scared. It is more about family and love and connecting and spending time to remember those who have passed on and passed down their memories. And that is mainly because of the history of these two holidays. So they were they were based on two very different holidays. Halloween is based on a, a Celtic holiday um, called Samhain, I think is how you pronounce it. I might be wrong. It was celebrated on October 31st and the idea was again that the souls could come back but they were working to protect themselves from the mischievous souls so they would dress up in costumes that were scary to scare away the souls they would put out food to appease the mischievous souls and they would have bonfires with um, lanterns made out of gourds or pumpkins with scary faces to also scare them away. And so the entire goal of this festivity was more to get through the evening without having something happen to you from the mischievous souls. And so the tradition of Halloween is about fear. It's about fear of, of evil and protecting yourself from evil. Whereas Day of the Dead is based on an Aztec tradition and the Aztecs believe that death is just a part of the cycle of life. And so they took time to celebrate that part of the cycle. And originally they did this celebration in the summer, but then when the Spanish came, they brought along with them All Saints Day. And as part of the All Saints Day celebration, the Spanish would go to the grave sites and they would clean them up and leave candles to bring the souls back home. And so these two celebrations mixed together and formed what is now the Day of the Dead that we see today. So it's not necessarily that one is better than the other, but they're definitely not the same. They're definitely not related holidays, even though they are around the same day. And I know, especially when I um, heard about this, or when I watched the movie Coco, I still took my Americanized idea of Halloween and added in some Mexican colors and foods and called it a day. And that is not really the essential idea of 
Dia de Muertos. Dia de Muertos is focused on family and connection and remembrance. And so I know for me, experiencing something for myself makes it that much more real and that much more meaningful. So if you go to the link below this, you will find a way to sign up for a free Dia de Muertos activity guide that will lead you through the three-day celebration with your family in a simple, easy way that anyone can do so that you can experience these differences for yourself and truly know the difference. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoy experiencing Dia de Muertos alongside of your family.